Hello and welcome back to my Minecraft Survival Let's Play series. We're back with episode 47. In the last episode, if you didn't see it, we built this amazing iron golem farm over here, which is working wonders. I gotta say, it works fantastic. Look at how much iron is in there. And earlier today, it was filled to like here. Yes, all of this, about all of this was stacks upon stacks of iron ingots. And I actually converted a bunch of that into blocks. But today's episode, episode 47, we are going not to do something Ender Dragon related. That will be next episode we do something regards to that. But today's episode is actually something to do with this wall and these empty maps. That's right. I want to make a map wall right here. I used a bunch of iron to make the compasses and that was actually what I wanted to do in the last episode, but that was expensive because you see one empty map requires eight paper, one compass. One compass is four iron ingots, one redstone, and I basically just didn't have enough iron. So I was like, well, I need iron, iron golem farm time. So we made that and now I was able to make the empty maps. I do still require a automatic sugarcane farm that would actually be pretty cool, but that I don't, I honestly don't know what I would need a bunch of paper or sugarcane for in the future, but it's nice to have, nice to build farms and such. So that is definitely on the to-do list for another time. But anyways, we have the 45 maps here. There are, oh, don't drop those. There are 45 slots here on this wall and I want to fill them out. Plus I want to show you a little trick that I didn't know you could do with Minecraft maps. So I want to show you that today as well. Um, plenty of food. Yep, I think we're ready. So let's head over here. I have two banners already made. What I need is two banners and I actually need some a orange banner just to show this properly. And also because I want to color it. Um, and you'll see what I want to do in a little bit. So if I just color these six and make it orange and take a stick and do that. All right, so maps, empty map. I'm gonna take a map and I'm gonna right click it right here in the base and you can see it fills out this entire area. We're not going to magnify it. We're not going to lock it or anything. Just in case we might want to magnify it in the future or change it in the future. Definitely might want to change them because as we build on, the maps wants to be updated. Um, I don't remember exactly what the locking mechanism does. All right, so the wiki here says, uh, glass panes can be used in cartography tables to lock maps, which makes them unable to be filled again when exploring. So I don't know if you'll be able to zoom them out or not, but that is definitely not what we want because we will be building more in this world and we want to update it once we want to update the map once we do. But here we have the first map here. We can see the base. We can see the nether portal right here. We can see the iron golem farm right here. Again, we're not going to zoom out or anything like that. We're just going to make it just as is. Um, and yeah, fill this entire wall in and maybe eventually at some point we will make this wall four times as big in like a specifically dedicated wall room or wall mansion hall thing. I don't know. That would be pretty cool. But anyways, this is what we have so far. That would also require so much more iron and paper. So that is definitely further down the road. But here we have the map, but there is something we can do here. Let me show you. You see these banners here? I didn't, I honestly did not know you could do this. It is so cool. If we put this in here, you know how we have the iron golem farm over there? Let's name this banner iron golem farm. Maybe you can also already see where this is going. I'm going to head out into the night, apparently. Go over here and I'm gonna place a banner right there. I'm gonna take the map and right click the banner. Look at the map. You can add waypoints using banners. And guess what you can also do? You can also color the banners and the colors will change. But not only that, it is shown. That is so cool so we can add waypoints and such like that that is pretty amazing so if i hmm i guess i need a banner for the home let's call it home right there it's going to take one experience but it's still fun to do so if we then take this back and right click that boop we then have the science saying home and as you can see the waypoint is now aqua 
I think that is pretty amazing, which is why I have the orange one, because guess what? I'm going to say over here, Patreon wall right there. Boom. And I'm also going to add this and say farm because I want to place one over by the farm over there. So let's go do that right now. But before we do that, I need this map right here because I'm going to show you how I'm going to expand this entire map. Uh, here we have the original map. Now, if I don't have this, I can just go around here and stop right here. And I'm going to open the next map. I'm probably in the next area. And no, we're not. So I'm going to use this map. And as you can see, I turn from this arrow to this dot right now. Once I did that, I'm in the next zone. And actually, we're right on the border. So make sure you go a few steps away from this area into the next one. And then you should be good to go. And here we have the farm over here. We all currently only have cows and sheep in here, but I do want to expand this to pigs and chickens. And if there's others, I can't think of others, but I also want some tree plantations actually, so that will be cool. But I want to add a little farm indicator right here. So let us just dig right here. I don't want this. I guess we can make it visible. Should we make it visible? Sure, why not? Why not make it visible? And these guys allowed. I'm gonna right click this. Actually, that doesn't look that great right there. Okay, add that there. And we have this and boop. There we go. And do I have this? Yes, alrighty. So there we go, farm has now been marked. And now I need to move this direction. And so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take it one step at a time. So actually, let me show you exactly what I'm doing. So I'm actually going to let's just put the food in the offhand. That's a lot better Then I can see what I'm doing and I can eat easier. I'm going to move this way. Now I'm in the next zone. Now I'm opening this one and I'm going to keep doing that two times more. I think actually three, I think. So I'm going to move to the border of this. And once I've done that, you'll see in a bit that da, 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 we actually have ocean. So that's going to come on the map. I can see. So get over here, a few steps into the next one, open this one up, and then we want to get the next one over. I don't have a boat. Are there any dolphins? No. Looks like I just have to go on foot. And as you can see, we're in the next zone already, so we can do that. And there we go at the edge of our map wall. Now I'm going to go this way because this way now we're going up into a new row and then we can go back that way so i'm gonna go over to this one i'm actually gonna swim it's a little bit faster now i'm into the next area and then i'm going to put this away because now i don't need this anymore and then i just need to fill those out and now i'm up here let's just go down here fill this corner in right there and then do this all the way back it is a lot easier if you have like an elytra or at least a horse and if it's a lot of water boat but it is certainly doable so i'm just gonna do this all the way back and then actually have to take the same trip but out again so right here but keep in mind you probably should keep them a little bit organized in here so it's easy for you to put them back on the wall unless you like doing puzzles then you can pretty much do that of course but I'd rather just be able to just smack them on there one by one and see it all fall into place so now we're getting into the next area Now we're in this one and this is the one with the patron wall. Let's just get that last corner up there. Yep, done. Let us then, before we continue, go ahead and place the marker for the patron wall. I'm going to place it right here. Hopefully that's going to look okay. So dig there and then uh, uh, do that and then this and then boop. Patreon wall and as you can see the banner has changed color to orange 
that is perfect. Speaking of Patreon, if you enjoy what I do here and enjoy my content and want to support me, be sure to go ahead and check out my Patreon link down below in the description if you want to support me. That is a great way of doing it. Go ahead, check it out. And let's continue this way up. So now I basically just have to move these up all the way to this border right here. And a boop. Like so. Nice. Unfortunately, we're not going to get the village in this map wall. But again, if we do in, if we, if we do move the map wall to another place and make it like four times the size, that would be amazing. It would be impossible to see the banners or the waypoints, but you know what? It's fine. And yeah, you just got to do this all the way back to the ocean, pretty much. And then I just got to do this four times more. One where it's down there, one where it's uh, that way, and yeah, that's pretty much that. Let me know actually, what do you prefer? More raw, so to say? Okay, wait, I have to actually click the thing. Okay, next one. What do you prefer? More raw? With less cutting and me showing everything, or more cutting? and me showing less stuff and just cutting to the actual progress stuff. Let me know. Oh, that looks cool. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And while you're down there, be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. Greatly appreciate it and greatly supports the channel. So yeah, and get that final corner up there. All right, that's nice. Let's head back to base. Dolphin, you're gonna help me. Thank you, buddy. Let's head back to base and let's see how this actually... Whoa, this is fast. Let's head back to base and see how this looks on the wall. Give me a second. I guess I should mention while I'm at the Patreon wall that if you do become a Patreon and you become a Tier 2 Patreon donator, then you will actually come on this wall right here. Your name will be put up and the fireworks will be shot. So if you do that, that's an extra perk for you. All right, let's head back to base and put these on the wall. All right, wall time. Now these are actually inverts. So if I put these here, or I don't know if that's the right word, but basically doing this should put them to the exact spot where they gotta go. So I should be able to place this in the middle. Yeah, and then place these all the way over like so. And then take the next ones. And this should be the patron wall. Yes, perfect. So as you can see, I've keep I have kept them in order in my inventory, so I can basically just do this, and they're in order. Look at how cool that looks. Unfortunately, it doesn't show the biomes that well once it comes to trees and grass. But you, once you learn how the texture and stuff looks on the map itself, like here, that is the swamp area, then you could you could recognize the different biomes. So it's not too big of a deal. So how about we take this actually, and this will be time lapse. I need to go out of this, this map right here, four, and then to cover this entire bit. So if I go out here, wee, wee. Okay, that is the first one. I need to cover three more that way, then down, then back up, and then over and back to home. And yeah, this will be the time lapse. So see you in a bit. All right, we are back at the base. Run is complete. As you can see, I kept my inventory like this, like this is how this map would look. Maybe you got a little bit confused on how, wait, he moved them around in the middle of the time lapse thing. That was just me switching them around, so I basically mirrored it, so to say. Um, I think that is the right way of saying it. 
I just moved them around so it would match the map perfectly. So now all I have to do is do this. And if, yep, as you can see, it lines up perfectly. So right here, right here, right here, and right here. And then this again, right there, right there. Eh, and eh, eh, there we go. Perfectly executed. This looks so amazing. Now it is just time for these last nine down here. And for that, I'm actually going to take, uh, hmm. I'm going to take this one out. Then I'm going to follow it. I'm going to go this way again, follow it all the way until I get to this one and then move down to over and then up and over again. So I can take it in one big swoop and then we should be pretty much done. So now you'll see me run back to this place. Let me just double check again. So on that way, okay. So at the golem, iron golem farm, move this way. And then, oh, this is the birch, birch forest. All right, I know where that is, this way. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do this and um, yeah, be back again. I need to put some more stairs here. Climbing this mountain each and every time I jump down is a pain. And I, I guess I could use a stair there. Oh, hey, cactus. All right, let me get to this thing and uh, I'll be right back. All right, so now you can see I'm on here. Now I just need to go down this way. And as you can see, I cleared a bunch of space up. Uh, this is, belongs to here and this actually technically belongs to here. Again, as you can see, I'm like imagining the map in my head because this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight slots. And we actually need to go to, uh, yeah, the map needs to be here because yeah, because this is this, we have this entire piece of the map. We just need this bit here. So I'm going to get over here right here eh. and then I'm going to open the next one uh, where am I there then I can move this one and then this is technically here so now I just need the one that goes actually goes here on the map wall so gotta go all the way down here again and open the next one and here we are this then belongs to here and I can move this over here like so. Now all I have to do is make sure that it all gets populated. Yeah, which is gonna be a pain, isn't it? There we go. Now I can move this way and fill out all of these. And we actually need two more over here. So technically remove the sword and remove that and then remove this. <laughs> As you can see, I'm trying to make this as organized as possible. All right, without messing too much up. So here we are. Now I just gotta, if I could jump, go all the way over here. And then once I reach here, move up and then over and then we're done. So yeah, initiate time-lapse. Let's go. All right, this is the end right here. Now what I'm gonna do is switch these around. Uh, nope, sorry, sorry. I actually need to, uh, let me think, move these over, move everything up, <laughs> and then move these down like so. So this is basically our map wall right here. We have everything up here but we're missing this right here, which is what we're going to do now. I'm going to turn this way. I hope everything will make, will make sense. If you have any questions, leave them down below. And while you're down there, actually, leave a like if you enjoy, because why not? That helps, helps me out. So yeah, go ahead. Uh, then we open this one up. 
and then I immediately switch this around. Uh, and then switch that around. Like so. Because now I'm at... I'm technically up here. Alright, I'm technically up here. But I'm having them at the hotbar. Just so that it is easier for me to just switch them around. So now I'm going this way. Back this way. And once I hit this one, I will technically be here. And then we will actually be done with mapping this surrounding area. So I'm going to do that once again. And yeah, BRB. And I just realized that we are now complete. This map thing is now fully functional. Because if we take these two, I'm on this current one. And as you can see on the dot, we are right next to the other map. Right over here. If we step on this border and continue a bit. Uh Hmm uh, uh Okay uh I've messed something up in my placement of these so that's going to be wonderful to put up on the wall but you know what it is fine all the maps are here uh, I was hoping to be able to prove that point but um apparently not let's head over to the wall no panic and let us take a look at what is actually going going on here. All right, we are home. Let's see what is going on here. So I know this map belongs up here. Okay. Then this belongs there. This belongs there. Then technically this does not belong there. Does not belong there either. Definitely doesn't belong there either. Have I made a skip somewhere? Hmm. How about these two? Oh, definitely not. Oh dear me. <laughs> okay, this is this stuff is way off. Um, which ones has an ocean? That fits. That fits too. Okay. Uh, uh, nope, <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> uh, let me just get rid of that so it's reset. Um, yeah, those those two no no work together, as we can clearly see. Uh, dear me. Okay. Um, I messed up somewhere. I don't quite know where. Uh, wait, that fits there. Then this. Aha! That fits there. Okay. Uh, that's not going there. That fits there. And that fits there. Okay, 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 okay. Nope. Okay, so if you like this puzzle stuff, you can on purpose mix them up. Oh, that works. Okay. Just step back a bit and look. And how amazing this looks. Okay, I can't get these two wrong. Mm. Did I actually get that right? I did. <laughs> okay. Uh, then this goes there. That goes there. That goes there. This must go here. And we have three left. Uh, actually, that does not go there. This goes there. Um, that seems to go there. That fits very well. Then why do I have this? Why on earth do I have that? Where in this picture does this belong? <laughs> um, that fits there. 
Hä? I have a duplicate. Aha. These two are exactly the same, so I did get a duplicate. That's what's wrong here. I got a duplicate right here. So... That's what got a little bit messed up. Okay. We can fix that, though. We can fix that. Plenty of iron, plenty of redstone and everything. So, I just need to go past the nether portal. And then past... Well, I already have this one. So, past the nether portal and then find this map. Okay. That's fine. We got that. We got that. We can do this. Alrighty. Make a compass. Do, 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 do. Make a compass. Do, 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 do. Do that. Alright. Let me get behind the portal. Move over to this one. And then we'll have the final piece of the puzzle. But look at that. That looks so amazing. That looks so amazing. Alright. Let me get over there. Alright. So now my dot is moving down on the map. That means I am on the right um, area when it comes to the C coordinate. Which you can see is going down now, then it's going up. Now I just need to go this direction until I come on this map. And then just activate the last one. And then that will be the final piece of the puzzle. Let's go. And we are now in the next area that apparently we missed. There we go. Let's just unlock that or reveal that area down there in the corner. There we go. Now this entire place is completely hey, piggy wiggy is completely unlocked the map is complete now we just gotta go and fill out the wall and we will be good to go let me head back and let's put on the final piece it is time to place the final piece of the puzzle this is pretty much useless now and there we go the map has been completed. With waypoints, we have the Patreon wall up there, we have the farm, we have the home, and we have the Iron Golem farm. Excuse me. Funny why you do this. And we have the ocean, and we have the swamp, the roof forest. Unfortunately, we didn't get the village. Probably one or two map tiles up, and we would, would have gotten the village. But again, we can extend this. Um, it is a little hard to see the text, but I'm going to install up to find so we can zoom in on stuff. So yeah, that is that. Plus I have the banner up there. I know it looks very terrible. I want to add, that is a thing actually. I do, I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to test this. Maybe for the next episode I'll have found out. But I think if you do put a pattern on the banner, the pattern will show on the map. I think. I'm not a hundred percent certain, but I think that might be a thing that happens if you put a a pattern on there. It might show up on the on the map. Um, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I'll have to test that. Or if you know, you can let me know down in the comments below. And actually, while you're in the comments, let me know if you actually knew that this was a thing because I didn't, and I think it is actually pretty cool. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I got to clean up my inventory because this is now a mess. And actually, hold on. I'm very curious to see how much iron is in our iron golem farm. When we started the journey, it went, I think it was from, it was about four stacks. Oh, yeah, it was here, 40 here. So, yeah, that is pretty much almost two stacks and a half. That's not bad. This thing keeps generating stuff. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave it a like. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Helps me out a ton and enable those notifications as well so you don't miss out. Be sure to join the community as well. Join my Discord server. Link down below in the description as well as follow me on Twitter for status updates and stuff when there's actually one of those. And yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Oh, also, if you really, really, really enjoy my content and want to support me, head on over, head on over to my Patreon page, link down below in the description. But anyways, that is enough mumbling from me. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time. Have an amazing day. Goodbye.